Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for September 23rd. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving all threes by Bill Murphy. This is a diagonal and little killer Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have one to nine along each of the indicated blue diagonals. Digits can't repeat and there are nine cells, so they must contain the digits one to nine exactly once each. And then we have clues outside the grid that give us the sum of digits and cells along those arrows. In this puzzle, all of the arrows are pointing within boxes, so we don't have to worry about repeats in this case. In general, in Little Killer, we do. But those are the rules, and we will start with our little killer clues. Uh, four, since these can see each other, can only be one, three. Three can only be one, two. Six and three cells can only be one, two, three. That can't be a two. And actually, this can't be a one, so that's two, one. Seven and three cells can only be one, two, four, and that's resolved by the ones and by the two down here. That one resolves three one, which resolves one here. Uh, the three there, I'm just missing. Okay, and the high uh, sums, 17 and two cells can only be eight, nine. 23 and three cells can only be six, eight, nine. And that's not six and that's not nine. 16 must be seven, nine. And there's a 7 there, so that's 9, 7. The 9's going to look over for 8, 6, 9, 8, 9. And then 24 must be 7, 8, 9. We've got a 7, 9 here, and a 7 there, and a 9 up here. So that order. And that's all of the little killer clues. So now we have a diagonal Sudoku. And let's look at these rows. We need two, six, and eight in this row. And we have two, eight there. So that's six, that's two, that's eight. Because of that eight there. Here we need four, five, and six. That can't be six. And the six on the diagonal means that can't be six. Still need an eight in this row. So that's our eight. And then four resolves five, four, five. And then here we need 3 and 7, and that's resolved by our given 7. All right, in the boxes, we need 5, 6, 8 here. 6 can't go on the diagonal, and 8 can't go there. These are 4, 5, 6. These can't be 4, so that's our 4. Now we have a 5, 6 pair, so this is 8. We have a 5, 6 pair in this column as well. This is 4, 8, and this is 1, 3, 9. All right, this box is 3, 5, 7, and we have a 5 looking over from this pair. So that's our 5. These are 3, 4, 7. Those aren't resolved yet. Um, this, is, this isn't necessary for this puzzle, I don't think. But in this column, we have a 3, 4, 7 triple. And 4 in that triple can only appear in these cells. If 4 can only appear in these cells, then it can appear there. Um, another way of looking at that is this is a triple, and this is a triple, and these are in both triples, so these must be the same. Um, I just noticed the 5 here resolves 6, 5, 6, 5. Uh, the 3 over here, that's what I'm missing. That's going to resolve all of those. These are 4, 5. These are 2, 8, 9. That one's not 2. These are 3, 6, 7. That's not three. These are one, two, and nine. That one's not nine. I think we need to look at the diagonals to see what we're missing here. 
We need 359 on this diagonal, and I can already see there's a 5 and a 9 here, but we could also see this has to be 3 because this diagonal needs a 3. And if this diagonal and this diagonal need a 3, 3 must be in the overlap. So these are 5, 9, and they're resolved by that. And this diagonal is missing 1 and 7, which is resolved by our given digits. It's going to resolve 9, 3, 1. Uh, 9 looks over to resolve that triple. The 5 resolves 4, 5. This is a 6. Uh, these are 2, 4, 8, and neither of them can be 8, so this is 4, 8, and this is 4. And these are... Oh, I did that backwards. This is 8, 4, and this is 8. And now this can't be 4, so that's 2, 4. Uh, that's 7. This is not 3 or 6, so that's 7, 6, 3 in that order. This is not 1 or 9, so that's 2, 1, 9. Uh, to finish off, these are 1, 2, 5, and these are 4, 6, 7. That's the solution. So nice and quick on that one. Um, little killer and killer and anything involving sums, you need to know minimums and maximums. That's very helpful in this puzzle. Obviously, those were all resolved. Um, and just a, a nice diagonal puzzle after that. So hope you enjoyed it. Let, it. let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.